and the internet was obscure, medical things. Uh, you have 12 minutes, I believe. Hi everyone, my name is Khalid Ahmed Khabak and uh, my supervisor is uh, Sandori and another collaborator at this team, Khalid. Um, the thing is, being the last presenter is you don't enjoy any other presentations. <laughs> I, I can keep changing every single minute, uh, learning from you as well. Uh, today my um, <coughs> the, the presentation is about available health and future interaction and the internet of obscure medical things. So it is about um, wearables. Uh, wearables are, um, they are transitioning from uh, uh, well-being market to the healthcare. And we could see the data, um, the daily basis, uh, they have been increasing. So this data, we, uh, we got it from um, clinicaltrials.gov, and you can see it, it's being increased uh, on an annual basis. Uh, that's why we are, it was our interest to look into this. Um, we I mean, were mainly interested in, uh, in adequate reporting of the variables in uh, clinical trials. Uh, so we had to analyze uh, the clinical trials, which is a uh, clinical trial that got one of the biggest uh, repositories uh, in America. And we had to go through uh, the clinical trial that got a data repository and search for uh, variables uh, to see how they have been reported uh, throughout the uh, studies. Uh, before jumping into detail, I would just want to I would mention some ways. For example, here you see uh, manufacturers um, that we have. Manufacturers, we have manufacturers, we have uh, my garden, uh, Fitbit, readings, these are the manufacturer names. And then we were looking for something called families inside each uh, manufacturer. We have, for example, Fitbit Charge, Fitbit Inspire, Garmin Smart. So that's families with our big family too. And then we have next thing is called models. Inside each family we have models. For example, we have Viva Smart, Viva Smart HR, two or three like this. Um, the reason I have highlighted these two that I will be explaining that is because of the ambiguity we uh, faced in uh, our research. Okay, why is it important to report um, all this information? Uh, correctly in uh, clinical trials is uh, one of the reasons we need transparency, transparency. How transparent uh, it is to report every single detail, possible detail, as important for, uh, for the purpose of predictability or reproducibility. And it is good for good scholarship as well. Um, for example, if we have, we want to repeat a, um, a study, uh, if we have all the detail, then we will easily be able to repeat the, the study. If something is missing, for example, we have uh, one person is wearing a Fitbit charge uh, 4 with version number. One thing I miss, uh, mention, forgot to mention here is something called version numbers, the software or firmware. Uh, which is uh, one of the main things that uh, was a part of this study, but I wanted to bring it later, so I, don't, I didn't want to forget it. Uh, for example, somebody is made of wearing Fitbit Charge 4 with version 1, and somebody is wearing Fitbit Charge 4, the same thing with version 5. Uh, we, as a computer scientist, um, I know acknowledge that these are two different devices, but maybe the doctors or clinicians, they don't. Uh, uh, they don't know that these are two different devices, that's why we noticed that they have forgot to mention it in their clinical trials. Why is important? Because uh, it's important for the concern of poor accuracy of devices and lack of system information. And another thing is uh, iterative updating of devices. Uh, that means every single time we update the device, it becomes a new device. Uh, it's very important for that purpose. How did we go through? All the um, data we had, the uh, clinical um, database. First, we had uh, we created a, a string. Uh, this is a whole string. We went through the clinical trials, and then and next, what we did, we applied our inclusion exclusion criteria uh, to <coughs> the appropriate result. And then the next one, we this is basically a work in progress paper. It's not a complete one, so we just got the uh, top ten and the bottom ten percent of our studies. Uh, to do our this paper on it, and the rest will be carried on in the next paper. 
how do we do it? First, we um, first search, just a search string, we got 2,179 uh, hits, results, and then we applied filters on the website of clinical uh, trials of love, and we got 186. And then the next, we applied the rest of the uh, inclusion criteria, where uh, we had to go manually, so three researchers, myself, my supervisor, and collaborator, we have to agree or disagree on individual study which one should be included or which one shouldn't be good because the ambiguity I mentioned previously, I'll explain later. So there were a lot of ambiguities uh, which one to be selective uh, or which one to be ignored. And then lastly we got only 22, that's 10 top percent and bottom 10 percent. We selected those 22 studies. The result we got is uh, from the database. We have unique uh, five unique uh, manufacturers, that's Fitbit, Apple, Garmin, Fitbug and Amigo. So the total, we had uh, 22 studies. All of them um, mentioned the name of the manufacturer. The next one, we have uh, nine unique um, families, uh, and only 16 of them, they mentioned the uh, family name. And then the six, and then another one, model-wise as, well, model as well, it was only 16 <coughs> mentioned, uh, and uh, it was unique 10 um, models. The, around the, one, the result we got, the main one is shocking. None of them have mentioned the version, the version number of what the software or firmware used in, uh, on, the, on the devices. And the trials. The trials we went through was, uh, was varied. For example, we saw some of them for diabetes, uh, some of them for uh, rehabilitation of Afghanistan and Iraq veterans, and the sleep patterns, so we went through different uh, studies and the database is um, there, there are nearly 190 plus st countries are there but we noticed that with our 22 studies there were only three countries uh, uh, there only the, those studies were reported in these uh, three countries was America uh, Canada and Israel And what we saw the next is we were basically going through three different documentation. One was the, uh, the trial record, which was on the website, and then they had another one linked for something called uh, uh, study protocol and st statistical analysis. Plus, we have to go through that as well to find out if they have mentioned uh, the information about the devices or not. And the last thing we had to go uh, to the publication as well, so because some of these studies uh, they have been published. So we have to go through all these three different source of information to locate our um, studies which should be included or not in our uh, study. And one thing we noticed that, um, as I mentioned before, all studies mentioned uh, the name of the manufacturer, <coughs> but only six of them mentioned the Fitbit only, so we weren't sure anything else, just the Fitbit, and we were confused on this as well because some of the researchers, uh, some of the clinicians, they mentioned Fitbit as we understood as as a just a radio device, as interchangeable, so we weren't sure, but because of the criteria, we had to include it. Okay, so what we concluded from here is that there is an um, absence of information uh, in a version reporting. None of them, 22 so far we have been through, none of them they have mentioned the version reporting. So uh, the next one is the ambiguity, which I was reporting here. Some of the studies mentioned Garmin and was smart. So we weren't sure because the first version of most of the devices, they are just uh, family name. For example, if you see Viva Smart or any other one fit the chart. So we weren't sure if this they are referring to the family or if they are referring to the models. Then we had to, three of us, we had to decide uh, just from the context where should we put them. So that was one of the ambiguity. And we noticed that there was a lot of inconsistency in reporting. And it was, uh, we, know, we um, considered that it would be difficult to reproduce those studies if we uh, didn't have enough information. So this was not good for the reproducibility or repeatability. Uh, I'll see for my side. Thank you. Uh, any question or suggestion? I feel good to ask Any questions, comments? I was going to start.